How many of you out there know the name Spinner? It's a very famous German ultra precision machine started in 1949, however, only reintroduced here in North America in 2021. I had the great pleasure to share my buddy Brian with you today to talk about some of the flexibility and multitasking and automation and ultra precision that comes along with this brand as we reintroduce it here in the US. Brian, let's go over these details. Let's go over Spinner. We brought it to the US. Let's talk to the companies and customers out there and say, where can Spinner fit into their facility? Well, uh, this particular machine uh, here at Northland Screw Products in uh, Minnesota is taking a process that was uh, run, run on a multi-spindle uh, New Britain, put on a horizontal, and now that whole part is being done right here on this machine. So I was talking with those guys, and there was a long, long process several years ago, but the most recent process took three operations, a turning, a milling, and a finishing, and put it into one here, and ultimately right. reduced the cycle time drastically, but also, let's be fair, when we're combining operations and doing everything in one machine, oftentimes that's even more important than the overall reduction of cycle time. Yeah, you're right. Reducing the queue time is very important. Important uh, Parts sitting in baskets waiting for a machine to run them, and having that, um, you know, dual setups. This machine produces this part, it comes off, it gets back packaged up, cleaned off, and sent to the customer. It's so important, and as we've talked about before, when we're taking multiple operations and putting it onto a machine, we're reducing the opportunity for human error. Now, we all do the best we can, we're all the best machinists we can be out there, we get that. But being able to reduce human error by going from one machine to the next machine to the next machine, to make sure that that part, especially when we're talking German ultra precision like this, it matters because now we're keeping it all in one machine. And I think you have a sample of a bar having run out of how precise this machine can be. Yeah, this bar had 150 thousandths run out and uh, between the Iamka bar feeder and the machine tool itself, we came into the machine, we were within two tenths run out at the, at the call it. So, very accurate machines, very stable. Um, this machine has vibration dampening at each turret. This happens to be a three turret machine, running all turrets at the same time in uh, two spindles. So, uh, well, I'm happy you brought up the vibration dampening because a lot of times, especially when we get thinner, and the, the one we're running right now is actually a pretty thick bar and it's pretty heavy. And we'll go into some really cool automation about that heavy bar in just a minute. But when we talk about some of the smaller bars that are being put through the machines, there's some tail whip on the end, right? And that oh, vibration can reduce tool light. That vibration can create chatter. That vibration will reduce the overall precision, right? So that vibration dampening, how does that work within the machine? Well, each of the turrets has a vibration dampening, what we call a puck. So it's a it's a hydro basically a self-contained hydraulic cylinder within the on the on the turret itself and that absorbs all the micro vibrations and harmonics that are produced during the cutting operations. Wow. So, so it doesn't transfer from one turret to the other. Because you could be finishing in one, uh, on one turret in one spindle and roughing on the other or doing interrupted cuts on the other. So it doesn't transfer that. That's clever, I like that very much. Now yeah. let's go back real quick to the bar feed itself. Now. That's a conversation fully for another day, but what I want to talk about is the fact that when we walked into this company, there was a young lady running this machine that's probably stronger than me to be fair, but there's 140 pound bars that go into this machine, that's right. and she's able to do the whole setup. How does she do that? Well, the, the bar feeder is actually automatic. It automatically loads the bars, so she doesn't have to do any of that. It's, they come in on a cart, you roll the, the bars onto the, onto the bar loader, and it, and it takes care of the process. So it's all automated. So from the beginning of the process of a raw bar stock that can be loaded from a cart, then automatically loaded into the bar feed, then the part is cut and the precision is so nice that they don't need a finishing process anymore. It quite literally comes off of this machine and goes into a box, doesn't it? It comes off the machine, they dip it in preservative and ship it to the customer. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. This is the awareness that we want to create by reintroducing Spinner into North America. This is a three turret machine. Now, one thing I want to ask you before we move on to uh, closing out this conversation is 
Spinner's also about innovation. When we're thinking about 1949, although we're getting excited about it being here again, 1949 is constantly innovated. So we think three turret here, and this is a great setup. But you have other machines as well, including, I believe, coming soon, a four turret machine. So constantly creating. Right, absolutely. It, coming in, uh, in uh, September of next year is a one, two, three, or four turret machine. Uh, with uh, 85 or 125 millimeter capabilities, so it's a um, it's a very exciting machine that we have coming, in, and it's going to be uh, literally huge. Wow, literally huge. <laughs> <laughs> well. I think I've asked you enough questions that the audience will be extremely curious to want to give you a call, Brian, and learn more so. about Spinner. But is there anything I didn't ask you, a message you'd like to convey to the audience that I maybe didn't realize I needed to bring the point up? Well, uh, Spinner makes about, a, uh, about 1,200 machines per year, and we have stock machines here in the U.S. We have stock machines coming in first quarter of uh, 2023, and uh, so if, if companies need a machine, need them in a hurry, we've got them for them. That's a great way to close this out, Brian. Brian, I do appreciate it, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. For everyone watching right now, thank you all for watching. This is Spinner German Ultra Precision. Give these guys a buzz. See if this will work for you as well. One more time, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you, Tony.